Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at basically the... Well, we're going to be taking a look at the Zenkai Rush Battle for the Super Saiyan 3 Legends of Mitsu Goku and basically how you can complete it. Now for those of you who don't know, Zenkai Rush Battles are 30 stages. They used to be previously uh, 100 stages. They were a ton of fun. Uh, they still are not really a ton of fun, uh, but yeah, they're still a pretty good time. You know, obviously, uh, all things considered, you know, in general, I think this one's not too bad. Uh, red characters are going to be effective because Goku is yellow typing here. Obviously, your goal is to build a team with battle bonus characters. So if you are building a team... And you can prioritize getting a whole bunch of battle bonus characters. Uh, as long as you can have three of them, you should be more than fine. Obviously, you want to try and build a team uh, around a set theme to try and benefit. But you can just kind of push along and try your best to make a team as functional as possible. I think for me, uh, overall, this team is not too bad. Uh, although I definitely would probably suggest using stronger units uh, maybe like red vegeta or red Brody if you do have them you should always pretty much use the premier unit uh, if you do have them if you're still struggling the only other real way to help you out is to arts boost the characters so if you're still struggling you can arts boost the characters and you can have a pretty good time doing so uh, in terms of obviously you know making yourself do some extra damage so that is an option uh, it's not necessarily the best option but it is definitely a option uh, that players have to help to maximize their damage besides that you can obviously look at equipment if you really think that's going to help but i would say in general equipment is probably the least uh like assistable kind of stuff it's not it'll help you a little bit but it's not going to help you a lot because these essentially come down to um, being like DPS races. The enemy is not intrinsically difficult. They are just essentially a character that hits relatively hard. So you end up being in a situation where the enemy is not like a super difficult unit. But does tend to hit hard and that makes life a little bit more difficult. But yeah, overall I mean it's entirely up to you. Of course, uh, your goal is to get to floor 30. You can auto skip the first 25 floors if you want to, uh, and if your team is good enough. Don't panic if your team stops auto skipping at like stage 16 or 17 or anything. At that stage, uh, you can just manually do the rest of the battles, like I did. We didn't really adjust the team either. Um, equipment we kept the same, everything kind of functioned. Uh, pretty much the whole way throughout. It did start to get difficult at around floor 25 with this team. Like it was just one of those situations where your characters tend to die when they get hit. Uh, there's not too much you can do about it. Um, but yeah, obviously if you can try and use strong units uh, or work on their arts boost or something uh, to help them out. Ideally not arts boosting free to play characters either. If you are going to arts boost anyone, make sure it's a u unit that's at least somewhat usable in PvP. Now in terms of the actual fight itself, there isn't too much really that you need to know. This doesn't have a gimmick, there's no shield, there's no uh, you know, requirement to boss rush at a certain time or anything. Just basically hammer him as much as possible and make sure that you uh, basically boss rush him uh, or rising rush him as much as possible as well. Keep your combos going and shuffle those characters as much as you can to maximize the vanishing gauge uh, abuse that you can inflict uh, on him overall. So yeah, but with that you should be pretty good to go. Once completed you'll have 3000 awakening power for obviously um, the Goku which is pretty cool and you'll need another 4000 from the missions uh, if you're looking at fully maxing out the Zenkai. But generally people look to get to the six stars in Kaya the most as that's where you get the most benefit because you can unlock both the adept and pro panels but yeah that's it for me i'll see you guys in the next one till then take care stay safe and uh, thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video
Bye.